All right, let's take a look at a few movies that are set in the year 2017. Here's The Running Man, came out in the late 80s. This is the very beginning of the movie. This comes out, they scroll down. By 2017, the world economy has collapsed. Wow, that's pretty spooky. Food, natural resources, and oil are in short supply. Okay, all this but the oil part, right? A police state, yep, check. Divided into paramilitary zones, rules with an iron hand. I think that's pretty close to, to coming to reality. In fact, it's close enough for me to just, like I said, I think that's that's pretty cussing spooky. So we'll see what next year brings for the for the global economy. Here's a movie called Cherry 2000. Um, it's 1987 science fiction film. In the year 2017, the United States has fragmented into post-apocalyptic wastelands and limited civilized areas. One of the effects of the economic crisis is a decline in manufacturing. Let's take a look at some of the headlines recently. Oh, here's a whole website. Collapse of American Manufacturing, Zero Hedge, 2015, December. U.S. Manufacturing PMI plunges the lowest level since 2012, February 20, or excuse me, February 2016. U.S. Manufacturing Collapse Out of Control, Business Insider. The collapse of U.S. Manufacturing is centered on one sector, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so moving on. One of the effects of the crisis is a decline in manufacturing. A heavy emphasis on recycling, aging 20th century mechanical equipment. Society has become increasingly bureaucratic and hypersexualized, with the declining human sexual encounters requiring contracts drawn up by lawyers prior to sexual activity. At the same time, robotic technology has made tremendous developments, and female androids are used as substitutes for wives. There is a show that was on Showtime. Actually, I think it's still running. Either way, the, it's it's a show on Showtime called uh, Dark Net. And I believe it is the... If you just go take a look for it yourself, I believe it was like the second episode. And it shows a bunch of men marrying virtual girlfriends. No kidding. They have a wedding and all. Like, they kiss their Game Boy screens and everything. There are sex robots being invented, virtual uh, reality sex, all sorts of stuff. So this sounds pretty mother-cussing close to me. Again... So so close, it's just downright spooky. It's like they almost knew ahead of time. It's really weird, isn't it? How about this movie, Barbed Wire? Barbed Wire, 1996 American action science fiction film based on the Dark Horse comic book series of the same name. Barbed Wire is set in 2017 during the Second American Civil War. Rather than World War II, many of the roles had their gender switch. Barbed Wire owns the Hammerhead. It's like Phoenician Hammer nightclub in Steel Harbor, the last free city in the United States ravaged by the Civil War. Boy, a lot of people saying that this uh, election could potentially end or erupt a civil war in this country. It's pretty strange. And it sounds like a police state, too, because you talk about right here, um, they uh, try to evade the retinal scan at the Steel Harbor Airport. These movies sound awfully prophetic, don't they? And then you get to this. This is the 1988 Economist cover. Get ready for a world currency. Looks like the phoenix rising from the ashes. And right around its neck, what's it say? 2018. It's just interesting stuff, if you ask me. It seemed like a whole lot of connections there. But I guess we'll see. Time will tell. We're right there, man. Half that stuff in those movies already came true anyway. But just saying. Thanks to my subscribers, and thanks to everybody for watching.